You may have seen my video where I did a DIY power station using the most affordable server rack battery I could find, and that was with Vader. Now, I didn't expect them to find them here at the show. They're kind of a small company that not a lot of people have heard about, but they make some fantastic server rack batteries. So this is a 51.2 volt, 100 amp hour server rack battery, and they work great. There's no communication on them, so it's gonna be a very simple system. Compared to like the EG4 that has communication ports down here, you don't have to worry about that. Now, the downside to Vader is they don't yet have a server rack that you can actually put these on and they don't fit in the EG4 server rack so you pretty much are only left to stack them on top of each other but either way these are usually around $900 so they're usually between 10 and 20 percent less in cost than other server rack batteries and the internals are great they did not skimp on the quality inside of here they just took out some non-necessary components such as communications this is the wall mount battery which is the same as this server rack battery but it's meant to get wall mounted so it's got a special bracket here to hang up I don't like this as much because I'm after more capacity but if you just wanted to run a shed or like an office space or something small and only needed five kilowatt hours this would be a really cool option the thing that I think Vader is really really missing out on though is this unit here so this is basically a server rack battery five kilowatt hours here this is stackable imagine having six of these for 30 kilowatt hours and having a split phase inverter on top that's the downside here is this is only a single phase 120 volt setup if they were to change this to where it had a split phase inverter say maybe 7200 watts output they could directly compete with the delta pro ultra and make it so much more affordable it would be like half the price for the same capacity they could do the same output better or similar solar input there's a huge market here in this because it's got these massive caster wheels so anywhere on a hard flat surface it would roll around easily and it stacks right on top of each other super easily so i think vader should take another look at this they've also got drop-in replacement batteries for rvs these things are serious densities so like this one here is 300 amp hours and it's still 12.8 volts so you can take a battery like this and directly swap it out for your lead acid battery in an rv that's what i did to my rv is i swapped swapped out my lead acids with lithium iron phosphate and they're still running great after many years so they have varying sizes here and they also got some golf cart setups so this is a 7.4 kilowatt hour golf cart battery and you could realistically put four to six of these depending on the size of your golf cart and these have an immense amount of power obviously they're very heavy but they're super dense for energy and then they've got a whole line of 12 volt self-heating so this is really ideal for cold climates and especially RVs if you're gonna use this for power to run your whole RV, not just replacing your onboard batteries. So you can take this right here, which is the same capacity as an Anchor Solix F3800 for a fraction of the cost. You could drop this in or maybe four of these or two of these, whatever, into an RV and have an incredible amount of power. And they are not afraid to showcase what's inside of their batteries. They wanna show everybody that they're doing quality work Everything here looks really nice. These bars here are capable of expansion and contraction. As you can see, everything here is properly coated. And this is live right now. I'm actually surprised they don't have a glass cover over this. And you can see here, it's 5.4 kilowatt hours of capacity. Now, this isn't a sponsored video in any way, shape, or form. I just found them here, and I really do like their products. And if you click right up here, I'll leave a link to when I built my own DIY 3 kilowatt Vader system. And then I'll have another video coming out soon that shows how I can do a split split phase setup, very similar to that white system, but more DIY done. So if you're looking for server rack batteries or RV batteries or anything like that, then go check out Vader. I'll put my link down below so that way you can get to them directly. And if you do want to purchase anything, then I do get a small commission off that. Appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you all in the next video.